we play TikTok videos on the show uh, frequently, and oftentimes they're they're always deranged and disturbing, but but sometimes in a somewhat funny way. This is uh, not a funny one, of course. This is not one we can laugh about. It is ludicrous in the extreme, but it's not at all funny. Um, here is a mother who took this video, put it proudly on TikTok, uh, showing how she is like a Munchausen by proxy situation, how she is trying to impose gender dysphoria on her innocent little daughter. Let's watch. Are you a boy or are you a girl? Think you are? I feel like I'm a boy. Do you feel like you're a boy? What makes you think that? I don't know. Mommy, can I get this to drop? Okay, so a little hard to hear there if you're uh, listening on the audio podcast, especially with the with the music, which just just makes this so much sicker, uh, that that music in the background. But the video is of a girl, six years old, and the mother is like interrogating her, and she's got the camera out, she's recording it. Uh, oh, and there's there's words on the screen. It says, my six-year-old daughter asks me if I think she looks like a boy, and I asked her, do you want to look like a boy? Her response left me speechless. Speechless. As if she had some profound response to that. She didn't. In fact, what she said originally was, this, what, it, it, actually there was, there was one profound thing that the, that the, the child said. Uh, she said early in the video, uh, I don't know who I am. And the mother is pushing her along, guiding her along towards gender confusion. And uh, then she says something like, I, I, I think I'm a boy. I feel like a boy. But what she said there, I don't know who I am. That is about as true a statement as a six-year-old child can ever make. And it's a profound truth. A child at that age doesn't know who they are. And she is at some level aware that she doesn't know who she is, which is very interesting. Um, and maybe that awareness comes from having a parent who's obsessed with identity and always trying to impose these things. And, and so this, this, this child appears to like feel all kids are confused about their identity and who they are. All kids are. Um, th- this, this is something they come to understand gradually with age. But she is aware of her own confusion more, mo- mostly because she has an abusive mother psychologically abusive mother. Um, but I don't know who I am. And then, uh, and then she settles, oh, I, I think I'm a boy. But all you have to do is watch that video and you can see that really what you're dealing with here, there's no mystery. There's nothing at all. It, this is a child who is basically babbling nonsensically, touches on a few truths here and there. I don't know who I am. But for the most part, as kids do at that age and for years thereafter, kind of babbling, saying words, doesn't really know exactly what she's saying. And what do these parents do? They seize on that confusion and they exploit it. And then they, and then they, they take these children, and they put them on display for the whole world to see. That mother, by the way, I did look up her uh, TikTok account and she uh, was responding to some of the critics. And of course, she was making a victim of herself and saying, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting all this, this big response and, and trying to defend and, 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 and make a victim of herself. But she, she's so surprised that this video got a lot of attention and she was being criticized for it. And rightly so. Yeah, well, if you didn't want attention then why did you put it online? This is the other thing these parents always do, which sends me through the roof, is they put their child on display for the whole world. They publicize this stuff, even though nobody asked them to. And then when when people share their opinions, 
the parents will retreat back to, this is our private life. It's none of your business. Stay out of our lives. If it's none of our business, why are you telling us about it? See, when you put something out there into, into, the, into the public domain for everyone to see, you're going to get people's opinions. We're allowed to have opinions, opinions about anything. Any information you give me, I am going to have an opinion about it because I have a brain and I'm allowed to. If you don't want my opinion about it, don't tell me about it. No, they want our opinion. It's just that they want our opinion to validate the psychological trauma and abuse that they are imposing on their child. That's what they want. And when they don't get that, then they, uh, then, then they become the victims because, as I always point out, this is all about the parent. It's got nothing to do with the kid. The, the, the children are spectators, you know. In, in a weird way, the children become spectators of their own identity crisis. As the parents create this identity crisis on their own. And the kids are just sitting back, looking at it like, what is, what's mom doing? What is, what's happening right now? Absolutely disgusting. Hey, listen, hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.